Hey Caleb, uh, it's a bit of a frustrating afternoon, is that how you put it down? Um, yeah, definitely, you know, we're really disappointed with the result and the performance as well. We know that we can do so much better, so it is very frustrating. Um, just we feel like it's a big missed opportunity um, and yeah, we're gutted really. In the two goals, I mean, the first one went in and then you sort of got yourself back into the game at half-time. Mm. The, the real frustration must be the goal after half-time conceding that. Yeah, I mean, like we came out, we knew we, we could perform a lot better. We, we knew we had a lot more in us. So, um, like, first couple of minutes was good. We were getting in their half, you know, putting it behind them. And then out of nowhere, another counter-attack we can concede. And, like, it just, you know, it really hurt us because it was so early in the first half. But it also meant there was so much time to try and get back in the game, which I thought, you know, we, we did do well to try and, you know, get a goal back. Um, but, you know, we just couldn't get it in the end. Yeah, change the system and I think you ended up playing up at, uh, yeah. at centre forward in the end there. Yeah, yeah I mean like, when I get called to go up, I, I do enjoy it. Uh, I don't want to be in that position in the first place, like losing 1-0, uh, having to go up. But when I'm up there, I'll obviously give my all in. I'm, I'm good at getting flick-ons, keeping it, um, getting knocked down and stuff. But unfortunately, we weren't able to get a goal. Yeah, that, that couldn't, just couldn't quite create that one real mm. clear-cut chance, could you, in that mm. last sort of half an hour? Nah, I know. We, we tried and tried, but we got close. I mean, Broomey got close to the goal line. Uh, Broomey got uh, cut back as well. I mean, we've had fl like just nothing seems to land for us at the minute, um, but we're trying so hard, trying to get into positions. Uh, it's just not happening, but it, it will come. Another thing this season, I, think, I don't think we've, we've yet scored a goal from a corner this season yeah. and mm. you, know, with you, with you, mm. you, you just haven't really quite been able to get on the end of one have you this year yeah I know honestly it's something that you know I think about after every game I'm just <laughs> so desperate to make my mark and, and try and score um, and I know with my size and instructor I, I win a lot of first contests in my defensive half even when I go up front it's just different in the box um, but it's something I'm working on every day that you're in training I'm, I'm working on it after and I just think it's a matter of time um, there's some good defending like today I was like you've you got to respect it both ways um, but I'm definitely working on it and it, it will come if I keep being persistent and you know, again so you, have you spoken to West Brom and I guess you're definitely going to be here now for the, for the rest of the season uh, well yeah uh, I yeah. mean I, I, yeah I haven't really spoken to them no. much, but yeah. The indications you get. That I mean, I'd love, I'd, yeah, I'd love to stay here. You know, yeah. it's a great place, uh, and I'm playing football. So whatever happens, I, like this is a great place for me. Yeah, you, you obviously feel that you're better off here, playing games every week in, week out at this level, and, and learning on the job every day. I just think wh whatever's best for me is playing, and if I'm playing here, I think that's the best for me, and this is great for my development. So. Yeah. What have you enjoyed most about it? What have you enjoyed most about coming out and, uh, and learning in a new environment? Just playing men's football. It's it's so different um, to what I've experienced, but I enjoy it so much. I enjoy the, the atmosphere around the team um, and I enjoy winning. You know, when you win in front of the, the fans, it's great. Um, but I'm also learning when we lose. Like, losses are really hard to take. They mean so much more. Um, so I'm just developing in, a, in every sort of way. And also, you've been playing. You've played against you know, a number of forwards, experienced mm. forwards, you know, up and coming forwards, different types of forwards. And again, that must be another big learning experience. Yeah, I mean, there's like been some very good teams to play against, um, and some very good forwards. Um, so yeah, every every time I come against them, I'm watching. I'm I'm learning after the game. I watch back my clips, <laughs> um, see what I've done wrong, and, and yeah, and just get better every game. What do you think you've become better at since you've been here? Um, I just say like decision making. I think that's one of the main things. Um, like making because like this level, it's all about making the decisions right most of the game. Like you can't make one bad one because it will get punished. Um, and I just think as time goes on, I'm learning which ones are the right ones, which are the wrong ones. And yeah. And also, you've got people around you. I mean, people like Charlie Ragland, people like Sean Long. You can learn from them as well. Lewis. I mean, yeah. Such a shame about Lewis and I know. being out for such a long time. That you've been learning from all three of those, I guess, as well. Yeah, they're a great help. You know, so ever since the start of the season when I first came in, they've helped massively um, get me into like the rhythm with like what they kind of want me to be like. Um, so I, I do feel like without them, I, I wouldn't be w where I'm now. Um, and the coaches as well help me settle in. Um, but yeah. And how do you look at it? I mean, Cheltenham, the, the 28 points, 
half the season gone, mm. and uh, how are you sort of looking looking ahead now to the rest of the season? You're confident that you know, there's enough in the squad to sort of to, to stay above that line? Yeah, of course, I'm very confident in the squad, um, but we just take it game game at a time. We can't look too far into the future because you know we just want to focus on one game do the best we can, hopefully get points, hopefully Derby, you know, we, we put a better performance into, uh, than today and we get the points and then we move on to the next game. Okay, Caleb, thanks very much and well done. Thank you. Caleb, is it, is your birthday's coming up, is it 20th birthday? Yeah, my 20th birthday next week, so, Derby. Yeah, Derby game, um, how do you sort of assess where you are? I'm not going to be a teenager, teenager anymore, so are you quite happy with you know, getting this amount of games under your belt in senior football at this stage? Yeah, definitely. I, like, that was a goal uh, from last year. I just wanted to play as much for, like, whilst I'm still a teenager. Um, I'm just disappointed I haven't scored whilst I'm a teenager. You know, that was a that was one of my goals I had. Um, but yeah, I do I do think uh, it's, it's gone well. I suppose you always get the best header of the ball marking you at corners because of your size. Yeah, that's, that is true. But I, I just feel like I need to do more. Um, I probably need to be more aggressive. I'm too kind in a way. Like I need to be moving people out of the way and being really aggressive um, to make sure I win the ball. Um, but it's, it's harder said than done. Uh, easier said than done, sorry. Um, but I'm obviously just going to keep working at it. Yeah, on the other side, I know you'd be disappointed with today, but how pleased are you with the overall defensive record? Because you have, you have yeah. done well in the season. Um, limit the goals, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, obviously, the last two games we conceded two goals in each. So it's something we still need to work on even though we've kept quite a lot of clean sheets um, but I mean we still work on it every day that's, that's why we have the clean sheets and we just need to get back to making clean sheets yeah just one question about West Brom they've climbed up the table yeah. they're flying at the moment aren't they they've climbed yeah, up the table yeah they're doing really well how nice would it be to uh, go back to, to a club that are knocking on doors to get back in the Premier League yeah eventually when I go back um, I mean it would be great when, when, they're, when they're doing well it, the atmosphere is good um, you're in a good team and stuff, so yeah, I mean, that'd be good. Yeah. Do, you, do you chat to your dad much about um, advice on getting, getting on the set pieces? I'm sure he was yeah, sent yeah. forward a lot. To yeah, to be fair, he scored quite a lot of goals. I, I think he scored like 20 in his career, which is, I mean, I'm, I'm finding out that's actually quite good. Um, but yeah, I do speak to him. But it's hard to, it's hard to teach. you just got to, you got to like learn it with the games. Um, um, the more games I get, the more games, uh, the more experience I get, I'm, I'm sure they'll start coming. I just need to keep working on it. Yeah.